Hey, we're back with another video. It's like 1.23 p.m. It is Tuesday afternoon, uh, February 26th. <laughs> Good grief. And I just got home a while ago, got out of the shower, and I will be eating lunch a little bit later. Got a lot on my mind right now, you know. Um, so, you know, I'm dealing with these issues, thinking a lot about the people who got involved. You know how this affects me on a daily basis, okay? So, you know, and I had told my family to get the fuck out of my life, like, a long time ago. And, you know, it's funny how they continue to persist. I don't have anything to do with them. I am not legally bound to them. And it makes me wonder, like, why people would, in their mind, start to think that they have, they have the right to go into your workplace and, and wreak havoc on your life. I mean, that angers me, like, you don't even know. And it also irritates me that people had their, wanted to throw their two cents in on what I was supposed to do to take care of myself. I feel like I'm in a very awkward position and I'm, you know, it's just, I'm always worried. I have never, I've been working for, a, I was thinking, I got my first job when I was like 16 or 17, but throughout my life, I have never had it easy. I, I mean, it didn't matter how, what I did, how hard I worked or whatever, these people persisted in my life. For the longest time and has caused me nothing but heartache and i have never been in an environment where i can feel tr trusted i mean i could feel trust for people or feel safe or anything like that and that bothers me because every day i sit here and worry am i going to be able to pay my bills am i going to be able to make it all of this which should be in my control my full control these freaks thinks it thinks it's their responsibility to do this stuff for me you know and i and i just it's ridiculous and then you've got idiots who think that that's okay employers I think it's okay you know it's illegal okay they're stalkers it doesn't matter what their what blood relation they are I'm over the age of 15 they don't have any say anything and that frustrates me you know so yesterday this is yesterday yeah it had to be yesterday Monday Monday you know my boss is somehow missing nobody knows where he is okay now he's a grown adult I don't know if maybe he arranged to go somewhere and forgot to tell his family you know one of those situations because that happens right or you know if he's actually missing or whatever okay and I'm not insensitive to the needs and the bond that he probably has with his family so on that respect in that respect I do feel like you know when your kids not where they're supposed to be or you don't know where their your kid is you know you get that's a, that's disturbing okay I don't even like thinking about that that's one of those horrible things in life right but at the same time, you know, I, it concerns me all the time because they put me in this position where, you know, what is going to happen to me if this person <laughs> doesn't materialize, you know, and I, I'm not trying to sound like a bitch, but I am always worried about what's going to happen to me 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. And the reason why I feel like I don't trust anybody is because if they have let you slip to this level of poverty, you, how far will they not go? Will they go? I mean, I, I'm sorry, but if I had somebody who gave a shit about me, they, I would not be in this situation right now, regardless of what these stupid people are saying. Okay, my sister Lisa has caused me too much pain okay as well as all the other people who got involved in this shit have been you know um i'm always worried about myself always 24 hours a day i am not getting enough rest over this issue and it's starting to bother me so i went to work today and you know i heard that nobody heard anything from him so who knows what's going to happen to me and I'm tired of that, you know. Um, I don't know if I should try to look for a part-time job, preferably in my situation because I have no protection at all. It seems like I should look for a full-time job. I don't even know what, what direction I can go, what, what I'm supposed to do. I, I, I have no idea, you know. Am I going to deal with some weird fucked hard trying to mess with me while I'm trying to have a job interview? Why? I don't, you know, it just, I, these people just come in and create too many problems, you know. So I'm stressed out, you know, I'm stressed out all the time. I never ever can just rest and feel safe. All because people allow, what do you call it, domestic terrorists into the workplace and they just destroy everything in a person's life. Anyway, so yeah, I, I, those, are, those are concerns of mine, you know. What's gonna happen to me? I'm already, you know, 
a, a, a older woman, and these people have been playing fiddly fuck with my life for the last God knows how long. And now I'm at a point in my life where I'm just like, oh my, really, the job that I'm working right now is for somebody who is entry level, somebody who, you know, um, it's a good thing for somebody to do, um, like a, a, a college kid or somebody who um, might work, be in high school and wants a little after school job or something like that, okay? It's below my skill level, okay, number one. Number two, I'm not making enough hours. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, okay? But the fact is, is that, you know, I was kind of lured into this job and I feel as though it's just, it's a bait and switch issue and I don't even want to go into it, okay? But I have to worry about me 24 hours a day, you know? How, is it fair to allow someone to live like that? That's insane. You know, some people, they go to, they go to work every day. They have other problems. Everybody's got problems, okay? But they don't have to worry about is somebody going to allow a freak to come in and influence a work company and, and, and flourish with these gossip, and these lies, and just bullshit and start drama anytime they want to, and then have somebody manipulate that person's employee? I mean, all of this shit that's illegal, you know, these, some of these people, they don't have to, to worry about that. All I've done in, throughout my entire life is struggle. Struggle. You know, I shouldn't be in a situation like this. I shouldn't have any problem finding a job. I shouldn't. You know, but these people have created nothing but problems. So, yeah, you know, yesterday, I, last night I was thinking, okay, um, I'm not in a very good situation now, am I? How am I going to do this? What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to take care of the, 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 um, the questions that constantly roll through my mind? And it took a while for me to get some sleep. I think eventually I did fall asleep because it was just like, I just needed to shut my brain down and just relax. You know, I didn't want to think about it anymore. But then I got up this morning and the same bullshit started. You know, it's like, I don't feel safe for something I've done that I didn't deserve this shit. Okay, so I don't know, you know, Karen Johnson, my sisters, my dumb idiot sisters, my family, that's not my family anymore. Don't fuck with my shit. You know, don't start your rumors and throw that out there so people can sit here and formulate weird opinions. And none of that bullshit with Stephen Lyles happened. It was all gossip. And even if it was something that you were really, truly concerned about, why couldn't you just, you know, bring me over and say, hey, are you seeing Stephen or whatever? Or talk about me. Talk about it face to face. You always got to feel like you need, like, you always got to bring a group into it or have somebody join in or pipe in because you're cowardice and I'm sick of it. And I'm suffering for it for years, decades. You know, decades. You know, I try to make the best of what my, my situation is. You know, I get up every morning. I try to surround myself with things that make me feel positive and just do whatever I need to do. To, but I, I, I don't like living not knowing what my next move is. What, what am I supposed to do? You know, I, I don't like living like that. You know, and everybody knows that this life we live in, it's very, uh, what's the word for, chaotic, okay? Because people's lives can change just like that for any reason. Everybody's life is, like, is, is, is under those kind of terms, no matter what, okay? There's all kinds of unpredictable shit that can be thrown at you that you have to deal with. We all know this, okay? But you should be able to take care of yourself when the shit hits the fan. You know what I mean? It's just a no-brainer that if you're not making enough money, you should go out and find another job. Somebody should not be forcing you to stay in a situation like that. Especially someone I don't give a fuck about, okay? I'm going to talk about my blood relations. This kind of shit, when you come to the realization that these people have been running over you for all these years, do you honestly think I want to sacrifice one minute of my time for anything that they want me to do? Fuck you. You know what I mean? And that goes, hey, you know what? Stephen Lyles, all these other people, I don't know what he had to do with all of this. Hey, you know, I never made any formal commitment or anything like that. So why the hell would anybody think that they have the right to manipulate my employment? Regardless, did, they, did my family think that I was going to be with Stephen and somehow I would might, might make more money than him? You know, that's a bullshit excuse if that was the case. Because the thing is, is that my sister's jealous of her sister. Okay, my sister is jealous. And they allow jealous family members to come in and wreak havoc on the lives of other people. Because what I've experienced is really, so it, 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 that started from them, okay? I don't have to justify shit to her. You know, my lifestyle is different than my sister's, and I'm glad that it is. 
Okay, I wouldn't emulate one thing. I mean, my sister, she's very good. She's very handy, meaning she knows how to put things together quickly. Like all these little things, that, these little, what do you call it, organizers that I bought, my sister would have put it together like in half that time. Okay, she's very good with doing things like that. Puzzles, quizzes, shit like that. She's really good at that, you know. But I don't want to emulate one thing that she does in her lifestyle is not for me, okay? So you got a jealous bitch trying to manipulate shit because she's jealous. You know what I mean? I don't have anyone to take care of me and I don't want to either because that's one, that's a situation that would make things 10 times worse to have somebody, a man in this house ruining my goddamn life and I can't get away. Fuck that. So, you know, I don't have any other alternatives. And it's wrong for, you know, Karen to sit here and put a situation in place, which is illegal, by the way. Okay? I don't have to get anybody's permission. I'm a grown woman, okay? My mother is an old woman. Okay? I'm not in her under her care. I'm not on any legal document. I am not her. She is not my legal guardian. Why would you do something racist like that? The one thing, problem with it is a, a lot of white people infantize black people they do it they do it a lot just like you know that old thing where like a, a, a white man would refer to a, a grown ass black man as a boy they'll do that shit right no we are adults we have the ability to think for ourselves and make up our own mind and we do not need to be beholden to anybody okay and if whatever contract you have with my family or whatever it's null and void it's illegal i don't have any they have no rights over me and how you couldn't understand that is just beyond me. I, I'm just it's ridiculous. But then that's racism for you, right? So here I am, worried. And I'll be worried and constantly worried and worried and worried for the longest time to figure out what the hell is going on. You know, I'm not trying to sound selfish like, oh, I only care about my paycheck. But the fact of the matter is nobody else gives me a fine fuck about me. I'm the only person who gives a shit about myself. So I'm the only person who has to sit here and stress out and worry about it. Think about it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. Jeez, I had to say that. I was just so pissed off. And I have so much on my mind right now. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and finish drinking my warm cup of whatever. And then I'm going to eat some lunch eventually. And then I'm going to probably go to bed to shut my brain down. And because I'm just thinking about the stupidity of everybody who got involved in this and how I lost respect for them and why in the world would they want me to be a part of their network with people that, that basically don't have anything to do with me. They don't talk to me on Facebook. So what is this all underground? So I'm supposed to be some sort of puppet and do what you want me to do? That's insane. You know what I mean? I don't want that. And rightfully so. Anyway, wrapping up this video, I'll be back with another video later. Bye.